The Minister of State for Health, Senator Loru Nimbe Mamora, has expressed fear of possible surge in coronavirus infections following the resumptions of school and business activities in the country. Mamora, who expressed this fear at the 67th Joint National Briefing of the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 in Abuja, urged Nigerians to adhere strictly to prevention protocols to avoid surge in cases. The minister said that there was need for the country to scale up surveillance and review its response plan in order to integrate new ways of dealing with the disease. According to him, the Nigeria Institute of Medical Research, NIMR, has developed a molecular test technique capable of producing results for COVID-19 in less than 40 minutes. He commended the NIMR for the breakthrough and expressed the federal government's appreciation to the Faith Philanthropy Coalition for COVID-19, FPCC, for its support towards the realization of the project. He stressed the need for action to be intensified on case finding, sample collection, and testing, saying it is through testing that we can identify infected people for isolation and treatment. It is the SARS-CoV-2 isothermal molecular assay SEMA, which can be performed by low-skilled personnel with minimum training. The rollout will be very soon as announced by the chairman of the PTF. This test, which is 10 times cheaper than the PCR, can be deployed for point-of-care detection and surveillance. Government will continue to support every genuine initiative that contributes to our response plan. It will go a long way towards improving our capacity to respond to all infectious diseases. It is a fallback facility which we do not have to put to use if we observe all necessary preventive measures such as wearing face masks, observing respiratory hygiene and physical distancing. In addition, we also need to ensure that we test and isolate all those with symptoms that suggest COVID-19. It is only by testing that we can identify those with infection for isolation and treatment. This is the only way we can truly halt the spread of the disease and confirm that we have actually contained the pandemic. Our goal is to have at least one standard infectious disease center in every state. We shall therefore work with the states to establish purpose-built treatment centers that will ensure we are better prepared for infectious disease outbreaks in the country.